G'day, fellas, and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the south side aisle of the map, rather, <laughs> playing as the Rus, we've got Mr. W in the color orange. Question's gonna be today, is he gonna be able to pull out the W or is it gonna be a big fat L for him? Because up on the other side of the map, this is, of course, Dry Arabia, playing as the Marlians in the color yellow. It might be a bit hard for you guys to see because we've got yellow and orange. It is the Wallalol God himself, Salami. Yep, it is going to be difficult. That is to say the least. Salami, actually one of the few players ranked Conqueror uh, on the PUP server, the PUP server, uh, just simply because, well, I'll be honest with you guys. It's, uh, well, everybody starts at, at, at zero again. So you're basically just playing against people that have got no rating. And so you're going to get back up to the top. So for me, I think when I started, I was like gold one or gold two. And I think I'm up to like plat at the moment. To be honest, it's a, it's just about playing more. If you're able to play more, you, you will be able to climb. But uh, Salami obviously playing quite a bit. I don't actually know how much he's played. Uh, I think they've actually released ladders for the pup, so maybe I could go and check that. Uh, but uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty standard opening for him. Just going for the pit mine plus two houses. You can see it looks like he did strop the, chop the straggle over here. Just 50 wood off that one and then going a very heavy here. And has added in a second scout now. So he scouted out the first of his, uh, of his deers. And now going to be looking out for the second one. They're just hidden over in the corner here. So we'll see if he actually does spot that one out. Mr. W already with three scouts out on the map, obviously. You open with the two scouts and then also open with the hunting cabin. Now, one of the things that you can do in this matchup, and I think this is probably the only matchup you'd want to do it, is you can actually open with another scout uh, and, and go for four or even five scouts. And you might be wondering, why the heck would you do that? Well, the idea is that you actually want to siege down the enemy houses and start draining their wood if they've got wood. You can see here Salami doesn't actually have any wood. So it's just going to be about uh, about sieging down the houses. And you can actually be really annoying. Like, as an example, let's take a look at, at Salami where he's at right now. You know, he's got villagers in queue. Let's say this house is all of a sudden getting sieged by three or even four scouts. It's slowly going down. And then, unfortunately, Salami drops to 13 out of 15. So now he's going to move villagers over to the... The straggler tree. He's got to rebuild the house. Does he build it out here where it potentially gets blocked? Does he build it under the town center where it's not as optimal? Those are all quite decent questions. But the most likely thing that he'll do is just look to repair this, the house. And then that, what that's going to be doing is just draining the wood away from Salami. And it means that he might be chopping, you know, uh, this straggler tree with three or four villages. And all of that wood is just going straight into repairing the house. So something always to consider in this matchup. And I think this is probably the only matchup where you could do it. Uh, as the Rus, and we have seen that out of players before. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see exactly how Mr. W plays. It doesn't look like he's going to be going for any kind of early aggression. 290 bounty picked up for him so far. Also going to be going for the wheelbarrow opening. He's got plenty of gold in the bank, so he's going to be fine on this age up. A lot of villagers in queue. My friend, you're going to need to cancel a couple of those bad boys if you want to get up today. Uh, but fortunately, I suspect he will. He's actually got enough resources to go up right now. Uh, 3 minutes 30, about standard age up time there. You can see he's got three scouts still out on the map, so hasn't gone for that fourth scout. But Golden Gate now coming down. Six villagers going to be looking to drop this one down, just out of the town center. Nice little gap that he's got here for it. We'll check in over on the other side and see where Salami's at. You can see that age up coming through. He's actually going to be going for the lumber camp. And the question is, where does he go from here? So not going to be a trade, uh, trade opening for him today. Now, one of the things that I've actually... Um, you know, I, I've, I've thought about quite a bit has been these trading posts. And typically, the best trading post that you can get is one in the corner. Because the further the trading post is away from the market, the much greater the return is. I, I don't know exactly what the math is, but essentially for every tile you go uh, further away uh, and then subsequently come back, you're going to be rewarded even a, a greater amount for that. So my argument would be that devs should probably be looking to move the trading posts right into the corner on a consistent basis because we do get some maps where they do spawn right in the corner but you can see here on dry arabia today you know we've got a bit of a weird spawn it's kind of in the middle and you can i mean you could run like a trade route from here over towards here but it just it just doesn't feel good you know what i mean like you want to be going that corner to corner action i guess realistically if if you really wanted to i mean you could drop a market here and then potentially trade across your base and out towards this position. But it's very, very far forward. And I guess that's probably the way that you'd actually do it if, if you were going to do it on this map. But yeah, it's, it's very, very far forward. It doesn't feel anywhere near as safe. But now Salami going to be going for some scouts of his own. Look at this. we got double scout moving forward. 
investing in warrior scouts the technology that's going to take these guys to the next level extra six damage a whole bunch of new stat changes including additional speed up to 1.88 movement speed so these guys all of a sudden they, they are flying out of the gates back towards the base though looks like salami might be thinking about that second town center i like this opening from him so just going with a, a standard stable opening getting the upgrade look at this we got the horseman oh it's a farm coming down <laughs> no not like this mr w that's not a w that's an l and now the scouts all of a sudden gonna be uh, really suffering out here because he's got scouts that he can respond to this but they've got much lower damage so salami doing a great job of already denying this seconds before disaster and now the the, the village is gonna be looking to attack these scouts as well ideally you just want them to distract but you can see he's working his way through this scout does 11 damage to enemy scouts whereas this one does 17 damage to enemy scouts salami trying his best look he's actually gonna be able to chase down the enemy scouts as well because he's got the warrior scout upgrade beautiful stuff coming out by salami here looks like the outpost is or rather the wooden fortress is gonna get up i think a villager did go down not 100 percent sure but hold on a minute scout gets taken out he's taken out two scouts three scouts down here one two and i think where was that third scout from mr w uh i think it's dead he must have got three. So Salami takes out three scouts with only two of his own. And now these guys are going to heal back up to full. It's just the classic. It's the classic uh, Mali and Warrior Scout move. These guys are just another level. Now we got that next town center. Going to be dropped down. We'll take a look and see where he goes. It looks like it's coming back over here on the deer hunt. Definitely a great little spot right there. If you can get it, you definitely won't be able to get it in here. I think Salami's just waiting until he actually spots out the deer carcasses. Because he doesn't know where the best spot is until he actually sees it. But uh, I suspect... Oh, no, he's going right next to the gold. Okay. Okay, no, no, there we go. Yeah, so th this is definitely the best spot here. Close as you can uh, to... I take it back. Apparently, this is the best spot here. Also kind of protects the gold veins. Uh, he's got nice triple gold vein all right next to his TC. Beautiful little spot. And look at this. We got Mr. W coming in with a town center over here. A uh, little bit of an unnecessary wooden fortress. But at the same time, I mean, it's, it's not terrible having, having this because it does give you that line of sight through the stealth forest. I'm pretty sure town centers do not get line of sight through stealth forest and it's absolutely terrible sometimes on on high view I'm, i put a, a town center right up against a stealth forest and you literally can't see like right in front of your eyes and all of a sudden it's like yo what up knights bro and yeah it's not fun it's not fun but mr w now gonna be looking to get more upgrades we see double broad axe we see horticulture coming in so really starting to stack up those upgrades keep in mind he's gonna be going quite heavy on food as well as wood so it makes sense for him to be just focusing on those two you just see he is rallying to gold now so maybe potentially think about a castle age back towards the base of salami though speaking of castle age he himself is uh is working on a little bit more of a, a feudal age approach he's got quite a bit of gold in the bank but it's going to become quite standard with the marlians obviously they do like to get their pit mines eight out up to 82 gold now uh, and we could see he, he did originally have this town center here on the gold mine uh, but by putting it there you actually block out probably two three buildings there uh, by, by putting it there. So really smart move not to go right next to that gold vein uh, and instead keep it out out in the open like this. Got a nice little couple stragglers around here as well if he needs it. If he needs it. But Warrior Scout's now moving out slowly but steadily healing up as well up to 49 hit points. These guys were originally on about 10 or 11. So he's managed to climb up about 40 health already or 30 health on that one, 40 health on this one. And we see the first of the javelin throwers out. These guys are absolute beasts. Now, keep in mind, these, these are pretty expensive. They're uh, about the same cost as a crossbow. I say about the same cost as a crossbow. Yeah, roughly about the same cost as a crossbow. Exactly the same. I mean, it's the same thing, right? Exactly, roughly, same thing. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, they are the same price as a crossbow. So they're pretty expensive. 120 resources, and it is gold. But keep in mind, I guess, as the Marlians, you are going to have plenty of gold. So it's not really a big issue. It's mainly that food that really becomes a stretch. And obviously, when you're playing the Marlians... You know, if you if you got a little bit of excess gold, well, you just throw yourself out some cattle and we are all Gucci, aren't we? So, two TCs for him at the moment. We don't see any cows coming out just yet, but I do have my suspicions about what the intent of our salami is over on the uh, on the other side of the map. But now, Mr. W, you're going to be dropping down that third TC. And keep in mind, this is without no stone, or with, with no stone being taken. It's all just been done with tickets. And you can see the Golden Gate's actually got... Look at this, 300 a minute. So technically, if you scout this out, you can spot what your enemy is up to. This is something new. I haven't seen this before. Now, granted, I don't think we've seen a Rus game in quite some time. Now, Salami going to be pushing up. Also, a sofa uh, coming in here. So you better watch out, my friend. You better get your legs up off the carpet. The sofa's coming in to clean you up. Well, I guess, realistically, probably be the vacuum cleaning you up off the carpet, wouldn't it? 
Uh, I, I don't know what we can really say about the sofa. I mean, the, what, what what are we going to say about the sofa? I, I, I'm going to come up with something maybe behind the scenes, but Wooden Fortress now coming up, villagers going to have to make their minds up about whether they go to the kitchen or the living room because unfortunately, it's, I, I, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, it, it seems indeed they're going to be evacuating the dance floor at the moment. Uh, yeah, just a, too many seats out there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's... It's... it's the name is Sofa. I mean, I got, I got to Google this. I got to understand exactly where the name comes from. They're called Sofa Cavalrymen. Uh, or, or just Sofa. Uh, you know, in Age of Empires 3, there used to actually be like this whole... Uh, encyclopedia where you could check the history of a specific unit and about where it came from what it did it was really cool because they would update it as well like you'd get a new expansion out for the united states i remember it came and they'd give you like little bits of information about all the states and about when they joined uh you know the, the I, I guess the the united states when when they became united uh and it, like it does the same for uh buildings or and for uh for unique units and the sofa so i don't know much about the the law behind <laughs> the law behind the sofa i don't know much about the law you know i wonder what the law masters wrote about these sofa no but in all seriousness i really don't know much about about uh, the malian empire other than mansa musa being quite literally the richest man to have ever existed ever in the history uh, even richer than Musk. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Actually richer than Musk. Like, if, if you were to take his wealth as a proportion of, like, global wealth, he is significantly greater, Mansa Musa, than anybody who's ever lived. I think technically he was, uh, his wealth was, like, estimated at, at more than a trillion dollars. I, I think the only person really to compete with him uh, was, uh, oh, my Lord. I apologize. I, this shouldn't be a name. Rockefeller uh, that I would forget. Yeah, Rockefeller uh, was the only one who ever really got close uh, to Mansa Musa. Uh, when he when he uh, consolidated all of the uh, the railroads and oil fields and all that good stuff, but uh, Mr. W now up to the Castle Age. He's obviously gone up with the Abbey of the Trinity, pretty much the the number one landmark for you if you're up ahead of your enemy uh, to the Castle Age, or if your enemy has, is yet to age up rather. Uh, but we do see now barracks coming down on the back side of the base. Three barracks with a fourth one coming up and going into Spearman as well. We see veteran Spearman, so well and truly aware of the sofa that his enemies got out. Javelin throwers as well. Gonna have a difficult time up against those men at arms. No melee armor whatsoever, but they do have eight damage, which to me seems like quite a lot. Honestly, if I was a developer right now, I'd be like, you know what, javelin thrower? You should be, instead of eight ranged attack and plus four versus ranged, you should be like six ranged attack and plus six versus ranged. I think that would be a lot better. Makes their break points a little bit worse against men at arms, especially in this position now. But I guess that's probably where they want them, right? Like, because technically they're kind of that, that, I mean, they're, they're as expensive as a crossbow. It doesn't mean that they are a crossbow though. But uh, now those units going to be moving out the men at arms. It looks like this this second town center is probably going to be taken out. Village is going to be going down here as well. He's got five in the wooden fortress, ten in the TC, and a whole bunch out here that are going to be losing their lives. Men at arms running through on a single spearman, trying his best to deal with the javelin throws. You can see the damage coming out. Now these guys are going to be doing four damage a pop. Now looking to focus down the villagers. Take a look at this. We've got some nice micro coming out from Salami. Beautiful shots with the javelins. I love the, the, the travel time as well with the javelin as, they, as he zones in on those individually. But now that town center are going to be going down. Battering Rams looking quite strong in the villages. They're angry. They're upset. They said, hey, that, that's my town center. You don't, you, don't be, you don't be burning down my town center like that. You don't be battering down the hatches. Unfortunately, the javelins uh, have something to say about that. We can see that there's some pretty good micro coming out from Mr. W. He is focusing down the javelins, and he's got the men at arms on him as well, but Salami, a smart guy, he's just going to ignore it. He's just focusing down the villager, and the villager count really going to start to dwindle for him. 61 for Salami, 55 now for Mr. W, despite that third TC being up. The consequence of just leaving too many vills out here, he should have just ran them all away early on and just given up, just sacrificed this base. He did make it to the castle age ahead of his enemy. He went a bit greedy with that third TC, but now the consequences of his actions are that perhaps he's going to be quite behind in that village account. Then arms numbers starting to look a little bit healthier now. Ideally, you want to see plus one as, as well as plus two ranged armor coming through. We'll double check and see whether we've got... Oof. No blacksmith at all at home. He's got four. Okay, there we go. Blacksmith finally coming down. Double blacksmith. I don't know if that's necessary. Honestly, plus one ranged armor, plus two ranged armor, all you need. And you can't research them both at the same time. Uh, you can only research one ranged armor at a time. So I, I would probably be avoiding that, but starting to stack up that gold as well. And we do hear the relics have been picked up. First one on the way in. Warrior Monk just chilling out for the moment. Second Warrior Monk coming out. Third Warrior Monk over towards the middle of the map. It looks like he's going to be able to get this one off. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh my lord, that was very, very close to a Wallalo right there. Jeez Louise, the Wallalo god almost got sniped himself. Whew. 
Salami, you better... You're playing with fire right there. I mean, technically, you're playing with God, but... Hey, you're the Woolalol God himself. He knows a thing or two about God, doesn't he? But we check back in with Salami, and we see something rare coming out for the Malians. It's farms. It's quite early farms. He's got a K, 1K gold sitting in the bank. 1,300 gold in the bank now. He can just make a couple cows. Doesn't opt for it, though. He's picked up fertilization already. There we go. There's those cows we were talking about. And now the question is, what direction does he look to go? Because it looks like a very cattle-heavy direction. 13 cattle in queue at the moment. He's spending all of his gold in that and looking to stick it out in the feudal age at the moment. Continuing to move across the map with the javelins. Hold on a minute. He's found the warrior monk. Warrior monk just chilling out for the moment. Where's that relic? There was a relic out here. It must have come in. It must have come in from this guy. I don't know what, what this warrior monk is doing, but unfortunately... That ain't it. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. Warrior Monk does go down. A very sad death as well. He will be He will be missed. He will be mourned. But uh, we've got plenty of more. Plenty more where that came from. And so for the rules player at this point in time, you know, where does he go from here? Where do we go from here? The classic, the classic question. Well, relics are going to be really important. And you can see he's picked up two so far, but needs to keep that going. We've got another Warrior Monk moving out. I have no idea what that... Was he, was he potentially going out for the sacred site? Maybe that was the play, you know, try and draw his enemy over towards this west side. But he did get caught with his pants down out there, so perhaps it wasn't. But now that warrior monk going to be moving out. You can see we've, he's rallied directly to that relic. Salami yet to put two and two together just for the moment. We'll check back in with Salami and see how he's doing. Is it going to be Farimba Garrison? No, no, no. It is not going to be the Farimba Garrison. It is going to be the big cow landmark, the Grand Fulani Corral. It is coming down right now. He's got plenty of cows out as well. Look at this. There is just... He is looking to pump up this economy. He's really getting it going. And now... Oh, no. Oh, no. That ain't it. That ain't it, my friend. Salami does manage to... Look at this. Salami just hunting for warrior mocks. He's taken out two of them so far. Third one now. Barely making it out alive. This is where you need to get those rally points in around the edge of the map. You take this warrior monk, you shift click, click him over here, you shift click him here, you shift click to this, then back out to the outside, all the way back down, and then finally back to the Abbey of the Trinity. We've been up up now in the third age for what about four or five minutes here for Mr. W, and things only looking like L's at the moment, so not the best. Plus one range attack has come through now for Salami. He's going to be dishing out one more damage. Nice little kiting right here from Salami. Not too bad. Sofa Warrior is going to have to fall back away from this position. Wall's starting to go up around the east side of the base for Salami. Realizing that they might need a little bit of help over there. Javelins continuing to make their way back. And you can see the speed that these guys have got. 1.25 movement speed. Compared to the 1.44 of the men-at-arms, which when they're charging... I mean, it, it, it's it's not real, though. It's 1.12. Uh, so technically, these guys are going to just kite for days. But... Hold on a minute. Look at this. Salami with five of his own. Five of the world's best barracks coming out. And he's going heavy into veteran Musafati warriors, which should technically counter these perfectly. You can see these Musafati warriors. They don't have a lot of armor, but they do have plus 12 damage against heavy units, which are the men-at-arms. So technically doing 24 damage a pop. Look at this. He's going to be getting these blades off together. More Musafati going to be coming out. Men-at-arms going to be shut down completely. And so definitely the men-at-arms do very effectively against the javelin throwers, but against the Musafati warriors, it is just an absolute rampage. And those Musafati definitely do quite well in that position. Now Salami going to be able to gain control. He's definitely looking pretty solid in this game, stacking up quite a lot of food. 26 villages on food, as well as the, all those farms uh, with the cattle. And I think, honestly, this is probably something that concerned me when I saw all these farms coming down. I'm like... Surely he's not going for the Grand Fulani Corral. Surely it's not going to be the, the big boy cow landmark, but indeed it was. Something that really surprised me. I did not expect to see that. He's going to have food out the wazoo. Sitting on 1,800, 1,900 at the moment. Nasalami going to be pushing up. Finds a couple men at arms. He's going to be very happy with this little pickup. Archers, or rather javelin throwers. Looking to try and take out the spears, I suspect, and let the, uh, the I was going to say the Shaolin Warriors. Oh, my Lord. That's Age of Empires 3. They got the same kind of style to them. I think that's why it comes out, but... Uh, Gets off a nice little mango shot. Hits a couple units. Now trying to block for him. He's not going to find too much luck. Manganel, Manganel, Manganel! Looks pretty decent. Oh, it's big damage. Does unfortunately go down. Not enough spearmen here to defend that position. He's going to need a second Manganel. He's got villagers nearby to protect as well. This could be good for him. Let's see if Mr. W is able to turn this around. We're going to enter into the cinematic mode as he tries his best to hold on for dear life. Not that Manganel, not like this. And he's a poor villagers now. But the villagers, the Manganel all came out on the wrong side. He just wasn't prepared for it. He wasn't ready for it. And now the Springled's out. Why we got a Springled out on the field? Who knows? Who knows? But he tries his best to hold on. Warrior Monk also going to be inspiring out here. Look at this bad boy go. Javelin throwers. 
I feel like this unit needs to be nerfed. I don't know. Do, what do you guys think? This, this, Do you think this unit needs to be nerfed? I mean, that's probably going to be the question that I'm asking on the thumbnail. Like, this unit... I'm not even going to be asking it. I'm going to be stating it. Like, this unit needs to be nerfed. This javelin thrower... I mean, it's kind of insane. It, it reminds me... I, I guess the thing... Okay. I, I would change two things about this unit. Number one... Six damage instead of eight base damage and then give it an extra two d ranged damage or damage versus range number two would be reduce the movement speed down it's 1.25 movement speed at the moment change that make it 1.12 make it the same as a mana arms and i think that's fair because then, then it also means archers can technically cap catch them as well uh because at the moment they're just like a kiting demon you can just kite forever and eventually like sure you make it back to your base and then you just switch over into musafati warriors like I don't know. It just maybe it's just the Marlians. Maybe the Marlians are just too good. Who knows? But uh, Mr. W definitely going to be looking a little bit more like Mr. L at this point in the game. We'll check in with the score and see how it's going. Salami up a little bit, not a huge amount, about four or five hundred points. I say f about four or five hundred points. I was just one point shy of five hundred, so not doing terribly. But now we have a look at the income per minute. You can see Salami's up by an absolute country mile, doing very very well for himself. Now, coming back down to this south side of the map, a single house remains out here. Salami just spotting, checking the villa, the, the gold mine. Ivan is seeing if he can find anything, anything fancy, but now we see the fertilization starting to come through for him. He's got a lot of food income. It's 2k food income, 1900 on the gold income at the moment. Pit mine working overtime. He's got the second one up. Where's the third one? He should have had a third one. There it is. Third one out here. Still yet to add in those extra houses. I think it might be a bit tough for him to do it because he's so close to the sacred site. So I guess the consequence of taking one of these gold mines so close to that sacred site. But we got ourselves some mangonels. We've also got the men at arms moving out. Looking to try and protect. Ooh, there's only one mango in here. Uh, not the ideal composition. Uh, interesting shot there by the mangonels. And you can see he just comes straight in with the sofa for the mangonels. Looking, looking like a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of something to say. Looking like a peanut right now. Just going, the sofa going straight for it. But I feel like, you know, the, the peanut being the mangonel. The mangonel's going straight for the sofa. You know, the, the cushions. It's looking like a $2 coin. You guys got $2 coins? We got $2 coins in Australia. Uh, I don't know what you guys call them. I don't, in, in the United States, you got weird terms like penny, dime, quarter. I know a quarter is 25 cents. I don't know what a penny is. I don't know what a dime is. Uh, except for my wife, of course. My lovely wife. I mean, she's technically not my wife, my fiance. But she's a dime. We know that much. Uh, I'll also accept a 10. And I'm sure she would as well. But uh, anyway, I digress. Griot Bar are now coming up for Salami. Uh, looking to get that Imperial Age through. There's a couple interesting upgrades that, or a couple interesting texts that he could look to pay for here. Uh, most attractive is definitely going to be that production one as well as the siege one. Uh, typically, when you're thinking about going for something like the Grand Fulani uh, Corral, you don't really need a whole lot of villagers on food. And we can see that's reflected now uh, in the amount of villagers that are here. He's got 25 vills for a total of 107 villagers. It's not a huge amount. 61 villagers on gold, though. So, I mean, that tells you everything you need to know about the Malian economy, doesn't it? Veteran Sofa now starting to see upgrades coming through. He's heading to Elite Sofa, Elite Musafati, increasing or is getting Farima leadership which is going to increase the movement speed of nearby units by or infantry rather by 15 percent so remember that unit that we we're talking about that's already pretty damn fast you know the the javelin thrower 1.25 movement speed well it's gonna get even faster and of course enemy units gonna get faster mangonels big shots coming off hitting the downtown he's got two on the backside a little bit too far forward might have to pull back the sofa coming around trying to find their position will enter into the cinematic mode as salami looks to commit to this we can see the mangonel number one gonna go down number two gonna be up for grabs as well and bam 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 she is down and huge number masses right now for salami at this point in time just overwhelming his enemy the consequence of that early town center going down and all those villagers dying is the economy fallout or the economic fallout of it right now. He's looking terrible and we see those elite upgrades come through. Look at their golden hats. Look at those hats. You can't mess with the... Uh, they're not actually hats. It's like a hat and a hood and some sort of gold thing, but it, it looks it looks like sombreros. Look at them. <laughs> Cowboys. Is, I, don't even know if that's, I don't even know if that's a cowboy song, but I'm still playing it. I'm still singing it. I'm loving it. Look at these 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 units go. And we got to get the UI back here. I got to check in on these units. I got to see what they're actually packing right now because these things are popping off 26 damage on these bad boys with four against infantry they get up to eight armor seven melee armor eight ranged armor that's huge that's massive and i don't even think does he even have all the upgrades let's double check and see if we've got a blacksmith back up here somewhere somewhere give me that blacksmith salami i know you're hovering around here somewhere am i blind i'm blind i'm legally blind 
Where is the blacksmith? Yo, where, where's the blacksmith? I know it's here. Uh, there, 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 there. All right, back, back, back to the action. He's still got plus three and plus two and plus three to go. Like, th this is insane. Look at the so look at the sofa, dude. It's wild. He gets up to like plus. He's nine armor compared to an uh, an elite knight. He's got more armor than a knight. Still yet to pick up the. Uh, uh, biology upgrade, by the way. Now also going to be going for Banco Repairs. I don't know if it's Banco Repairs or Banco Repairs or Bancho Repairs. Uh, especially after what we experienced earlier. Manganel going to be going down to the elite Musafati Warriors. And at this point, I mean, Salami's just so far ahead. Village account at the moment. 107 for Salami. 108 for Mr. W. But unfortunately for him, it seems like that villager deficit that happened in the early game as a consequence of losing that, uh, that expansion town center over towards the east is going to mean that today that Mr. W is unfortunately just Mr. L. Big fat L coming out. And look, it's okay. We sometimes, sometimes we get L's. Mang and L. <laughs> he's, he's unfortunately going to be Mr. D after this for dead. Trying to hold on for dear life. Keep coming up in the face of him as well. And now, big shot. Doesn't do too much. These are elite javelin throwers. Got a little bit more health on them. And good game gets called. Salami coming out victorious. But hey, I got to ask you that question, you know. Javelin throwers. Sure. Men at arms technically counter them, but do they really? Anyway, fellas, check out Salami. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can catch him on Twitch. He might even be live right now. We'll catch you guys in the next one.